we're talking about like if we have an audit well what i do whenever i file my form 470 which of course as we spoke before the form 470 is the first thing that you do so that you can um do your wish list and put out your rfp so the vendors can reply and you can get the best price go through all the evaluation and all that and then you move on to your 471 which is what you actually want and that's after you have awarded your um your bid your bid you have chosen your vendor and all that then when july 1 of that year comes open it's time for you to file your um it's time for you to file to to prepare your purchase order well what i have done was whenever i would do my purchase order then i would um have a spreadsheet of and I, on my 471 first i would put my school and how many of what items i was getting so i would know how what kind of equipment was going to what school so then when i did my po i broke it down the same way so then when it came time to do property get property numbers then i knew how many property numbers i needed for each school well then my when my techs installed the equipment or the vendor installed the equipment I said, here, I need, this is how many of these I have. Here's my property number. I need this property number put on this piece of equipment, and I need the serial number. I need the serial number. I need what room number you put it in. That way, if and when you should get audited, you can um, go back. You, you put that spreadsheet with your PO so you know exactly where everything went. If you get audited, you can go back to that PO. You can say, oh, this access point is at school X and it's in room 235. And this is a serial number. So then you can take that auditor with you to school X and go to that room and here's the access point. So that's an easy way to be ready for an audit.